beer dairy. I think he's having a coughing fit in the other room. Anyway, and car is driving by. As I was saying, beer dairy. Um, so, uh, I'm, I'm going to give up on, on trying not to say dear dairy. So, I'm just going to let it go. You'll notice that the sound is coming through both speakers, I'm sure. Uh, that is because I've switched back to my webcam microphone until I figure out how to get, well, sorry, it's not your fault. It's Windows Movie Maker's fault because apparently it doesn't know how to take a mono signal and clone it between two channels because it's a stupid head. Um, working on getting a better piece of software. <sighs> and the yawning again. I'm working on getting a better piece of software so that I can not only just have a better chance of getting the thing to record the way I want it to, but also it seems that I have been invited to join uh, RPM Networks on YouTube. Um, they're the same group that does uh, Geek Domo's show, so haha! <laughs> Just waiting for everything to finalize, but the agreements have been signed both ways, so it looks like cool, awesome, fantastic, spectacular, all that kind of stuff. Also, I mean, well, obviously, if I'm going to be joining an official YouTube network, I definitely want to get the best piece of equipment I can get, and I think I'm probably going to shoot for Adobe Premiere just because I've got a little bit of experience with it. Not a lot of super detailed experience, but I think it'll, in the long run, probably be better for me to, to go with something that I know can, can do the job. Um, and that's what some of my YouTube heroes use. <sighs> like Jesse. Uh, Jesse Cox. On, on his, if you look at his FAQ, it specifies that he uses Adobe. So if it's good enough for him, it's good enough for me. Um, also, in addition to joining the RPM network, I passed 100 subscribers today. I'm very, very pleased. And this is my 88th video. Now, that doesn't seem like a big number unless you are a Back to the Future fan, which I am. So, cool. Uh, there's those two milestones. And uh, let's see, what else? Oh, tomorrow, which by the time this probably airs on YouTube, it'll be today. Um, now, granted, it's only 10 p.m., but it's been taking it's been taking quite a while <laughs> for things to upload to YouTube. Um, and I'm sure that part of that is because when I finish making things in Windows Movie Maker and I say, you know, uh, encode for a large display, it kind of says, okay, I'm going to take your video, which is, you know, 200 megs, I'm going to make it a 4 gig video, mm -mm, whatever. So that's why it takes so long to upload them. Um, hopefully, uh, Premiere will be a little bit better about that. We'll see. So, uh, as I was going to say, tomorrow or today, depending on when you're watching this, or six years ago, depending upon when you're watching this, uh, I will be on, uh, unless something goes awry, Box, you better stay away from your awry something machine. Mm -hmm. um, I will be on the Into the Portal podcast on Twitch TV. We're going to be talking about um, EverQuest Next and Landmark and stuff like that. Um, so that'll be lots of fun. Oh! Yeah. Um, sort of speaking of cooking, earlier I was making my, my dinner. It was, of course, ramen because I'm on a tight budget. I was making my ramen and I grabbed, uh, bottle of hot sauce out of the fridge and my brain forgot which bottle I grabbed. I mean, I saw which bottle I grabbed, but I hadn't quite processed the anatomy of that bottle completely because I thought it was like, you know, a regular hot sauce bottle where it's got the little limiter you know, lid thing in the top that, no, it's just an open neck bottle. So when I went to try to like Tabasco bottle, it just went and I was like, oh my God. I was like, this is, 
and by the time I'm drinking the broth, I take like like two gulps. And I have to stop and <sighs> you know catch my breath because it's a little, little. It's a good thing I like spicy food because that would have been unfortunate. Um, what else is there? I have written in here in my notes. More yawning. Suit jacket rules. I was watching. Um, I wasn't act actively watching the show, but my housemate was watching um, the Colbert Report earlier, and uh, Stephen Colbert goes over to his desk, of course, and he, as he's sitting down, he unbuttons his jacket and sits down. Now I can understand why. You know, you unbutton your jacket when you sit down. It you know, frees up a lot of movement when you do that. Exactly. What I wonder about is when I when I bought my first real suit, when I bought my first real suit, I was wearing it and I had buttoned the jacket all the way down. And one of my housemates was like, no, you, no leave, the, leave the bottom button unbuttoned. I'm like, why? There's a button there and a buttonhole that goes with it. Why wouldn't you button them all? And he's like, you just you just don't. I'm like, this makes no damn sense. Why do they put buttons and buttonholes there if you're not supposed to use them? Whatever. I don't know. Um, I don't. Some. I don't. I don't. That's why I wear t-shirts and shorts all the time. That's you know. I don't have to keep track of all these silly rules and stuff about the. You know. Whatever. Um, a couple of other little things. One, I've had Lady Gaga's Born This Way stuck in my head all day. Um, I was listening to it just before I uh, started recording. And for one, I love the song. It's just, it's a great song. Two, I only have one real complaint about it. If I had to, if I had to pick a complaint, there's only one. And that is in the beginning of the song, She's talking about um, how her mother rolled her hair and put her lipstick on in front of the mirror in, in their bedroom, or in her bedroom. And then later she's like, you know, you know, God made you perfect. It's like, well, then why do you need lipstick in your hair curl? Hmm. Hmm. To start with me, conflicting messages there. If you're perfect, you don't need lipstick and you don't need your hair curl. To dap it. But I love Lady Gaga, so I, I will, I say that, and yet I only really listen to like two, maybe three of her songs. Um, yeah, maybe. I love, well, I could get into a whole episode about the fact that I can love Lady Gaga, and not so much about her music, really. I mean, some of her music, yes, I like, and she's very talented, the fact that she actually sings. She's not like a a, a, a a boy band made of computer cores. Like it's it's like having a chorus of Watsons trying to sing. And when I say Watson, I don't mean Dodger's little kitten. I mean the computer that won Jeopardy. Um, that's what I mean. So yeah, it's it's, it's like the cybernetic Mormon tabernacle Mormon tabernacle choir. It was an old joke. That I don't even remember what it was, but the punchline was the moron tab in Apple Choir, and it was something about people coming into a bar and ordering a tab and an apple, and they were all in a choir. I guess they were morons or something. I don't know, um, or morons. I whatever. Suffice to say, it was it was a joke, and it okay, whatever. Um, the other thing that I have as far as, as, far as music goes is um, there's a guy named David Helpling and if you look up his stuff on YouTube he does a lot of kind of um, I don't want to say ambient but I guess that would be the best um, you know ambient kind of atmospheric sort of stuff it's not like trance or anything it's just it's very you know atmospheric sort of music and he's got one song in particular that I really really like and it's called Storm Chaser and that's the other song that's, that's been in my head a lot lately. And if you do a search for David Helpling, that's H-E-L-P-L-I-N-G, Helpling, um, Storm Chaser, 
you'll find it pretty fast. And that I love it so much that one of the last Torrent Druid that I made, his name was Banut, B-A-N-U-U-T. Um, that is his theme song. Uh, and I just, I just, I absolutely love that, uh, that thing, that song. It's a great song. Okay, last piece. Oh, yes, the last piece to talk about this evening. Now, for those of you who follow me on Twitter, Twitter, you've probably seen, <sighs> you haven't seen me yawning on Twitter, have you? No. For those of you who follow me on Twitter and have not seen me yawning, good. But those of you who have seen me retweeting a lovely lady by the name, I, I'm not exactly, oh, I feel completely and utterly mortified and embarrassed. Now, I should have asked her before I started recording how to pronounce her name. I think it's Inriba. I think. I'm not sure. It could be Iniraba. I don't know. Um... I'll go with Inariba. So, that's probably the other one. Anyway, so she wrote a short story, which is currently up on Amazon, uh, called Full Moon Station. And I had the chance to read it earlier today. I'm so, <laughs> I wanted to read it like yesterday uh, when, I, when I actually downloaded it and such, but I didn't get a chance to do it because my power supply for my audio gear, as, as she said, I got distracted by something shiny. I also got distracted by pictures of men that friends of mine were sending me, some of whom had lots of fur. <laughs> and by that I mean hairy guys, bears and, and stuff. That's, I only mentioned that because it was a conversation that was going on right before I started recording. Anyway, so, um, yeah, so her book, uh, Full Moon Station, is up, available on Amazon. Now, by the time you see this, it's probably not going to be free anymore. But... But here's the thing. I think it could be like 99 cents, or you can borrow it if you have Amazon Prime. But she's planning on releasing another section. I believe she said it's called The Beast Within. Let me move my window and I'll find out. Uh, yes, Beast Within. When she uploads that, the first part, Fullman Station, should once again become free so that you can download both of them. Um, but anyway, definitely go and check it out. If you don't... Um, uh, I'll put a link to the thing in the comment or in the description below so that you can find it. Um, it's got werewolves. Speaking of hairy guys, <laughs> oh, get all Twitter painted. And Twitter painted does not mean anything to do with Twitter. Okay, it's from Bambi. It's what they called falling in love. You get Twitter painted. Anyway, so that was the, the only other thing that I wanted to mention was, you know, if you, if you get a chance, definitely go and check out the story. Um, and, uh, yeah, that's, that's pretty much it. Oh, look, we're almost at 13 and a half minutes. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to let you guys go. Last little reminder, if you see this before, I believe it's um, 2 p.m. Pacific Daylight Time on Friday... Uh, September 27th, 2013. Figure I gotta throw the year in there. Again, Pacific Daylight Time, 2 p.m. Um, definitely come over to Twitch TV and check out the podcast. I will put that uh, description down in there. I'll put that link down in the description as well so that you can come and check out the podcast. But if you miss it, the video will probably be uploaded uh, to either the iTunes store or who knows where else. It'll probably be up on YouTube as well. We'll find out. And for those of you who have shut up, um, can't record anything without somebody chiming in and trying to steal my thunder from the show. That's not true. Um, that actually had nothing to do with anything about the show. It's like, this guy's neck is really long. Um, Twitter conversations about weird, weird pictures of, of never mind, just the, the picture of a guy with like a strangely long neck. It was very odd. Um, but it wasn't photoshopped or anything. It's just the guy had a long neck. It was a little strange. Anyway, so I will put the links to Inner Reba's book and to um, 
the podcast into the description yes the description below so that you guys can go and check it out and until next time which will almost certainly be friday night be careless <laughs>